old sweetest man, gentleman Jervis. Welcome to the show. Um, now, it's such a pleasure to be here with you all. Um, so, this is our uh, beach. This is our, our jazzy sex on the beach. Uh, night beach. And we're going to have this little uh, circus theme here for quite a bit. I hope you like it. Um, now, you're going to see me doing this a lot because my eyes are very strained. I'm an old man, and as you can see, I no longer have a monocle. I got laser eye surgery, but it's been kind of going on the fritz lately. So I'm not really sure. I, what I'm getting at is I'm going to have to squint to look at the chat room. Um, so if I can't pronounce your name, please don't get upset. Today we're going to talk about uh, lots of stuff. First things first, we're going to uh, get into discussions about toys. Because toys are my favorite thing. I just love them. And, um, you know, I've never really grown up. When I was a youngster, I was always told to put away my childish, frivolous things. Oh, that's my microphone. Hello, testing. I love you. All right, that's good. That's a little too, too on the nose there, cotton belly. Now, oh, look at this. I'm, I'm bumping around all my things. Oh, see, this, this is my first time using Streamlabs uh, for Mac. Macintosh. Oh, and now my battery's low. Oh, oh, it's a disaster. Oh, 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 I'll lose their, I'll lose their trust. I'll lose their trust forever. Ah, I'm dropping things. Oh, ah. Come on. Come on now. Get it together, Cox. Get it together. Oh, oh, there's this noise. There's noise everywhere. Oh, I'm screaming. It's so dramatic. We're very dramatic all the time. Always well, got to be a little, little bit of a drama king. Or a drama queen. I don't know. Maybe I'm both. All right. It's quite, a, it's quite a deal getting all this set up. Good morning, bandana. Oh, look at that. I'm going to have to fix the width of the chat room. I can see we're having a bit of a, of a problem there. Hmm. Now, I don't know if you know this about me, but I actually uh, am a bit of a coder myself. Custom. Okay, now, here we go. See, the width is too far. We're going to need to adjust that down to about 600. Let's see if that changes things. Here we go. Down. Now, uh, I have a history of uh, being uh, an HTML coder, a CSS coder, JavaScript, basic, um, PHP, Python. And, you know, I've learned lots of coding languages and because I'm a protocol droid. People, people, oh, I'm kidding. Um, you know, it took me a long time to figure out that uh, C3PO and I are kindred spirits. I didn't realize that until much longer than after I started my wrestling career. There we go. Look at that. I think we fixed the chat room over here. Over here. Yes, I've got to get used to that. Hi, chat room. Hello. Hello, Smokey McCloud. Oh, Smokey McCloud. All the way in here from uh, jolly old Ireland. Jolly old Ireland. That's not what they say. Hello, TMA is nice. Oh, too. Nice to meet you. I'm doing well. This is my first stream, and um, we're still getting the hang of stuff. Uh, I, I think that one of the most important things about today is going to be that uh, we all have a good time. I want everyone to have fun, and I want to learn about you, because this is all about you. Um, of course, I'm the one sitting here holding court, but, um, but this is your, your time. I'm here to, to make you smile and make you happy. Uh, Chef Lucha, you've also learned um, the code. I think that's really, really special. Uh, it's like a trade, you know, um, because in this country, we've, uh, in America, we've outsourced a lot of our manufacturing over the last 40 years. Um, learning a trade like coding is going to be invaluable. So I think if you know how to code, you're ahead of the game. Cam, oh wait, Cabana's Bandana. Oh, Cabana's Bandana's here. Ed B222, it's nice to, uh, nice to hear from you and I hope you're doing well. Now, what we're going to do first today, before we get any further along, we're 
going to play a little ukulele. All right. Now I want to teach you about the ukulele while we're here. <clears throat> oh, do you like my Infinity Gauntlet shirt? Look at that. Here's Thanos. Or as I like to call him, Thantos. Just makes it a little more toasty. Thantoast. Than Thanto Thanos, uh, rather. I sent this to Eric Watts and I said, Eric, you need a shirt like this that says Watts. And then it has you in outer space doing the, come on, come and get me. And I'm um, pretty sure he made that happen, actually. It might be, but let me see. Pro Wrestling Tees, Eric Watts. Official merchandise page of Eric Watts. Oh, he doesn't have it on there. But it's a very good shirt, and if you do see it at a show, go on and uh, purchase it. Hello, V Revoltagon! It's nice to see you two. When we see. Hey, if anyone wants a really fun Easter egg, go to Google right now <clears throat> and search Thantos. It's like Thanos, but with a T, not toast. Thantos. And the first one to identify who portrays Thantos in the chat room. Um, you are going to be our number one friend of the day. I don't really know what that means yet, but we're going to figure it out. So, Thantos. Who plays Thantos? Jervis Vedder. Is that... Oh, you know what? I, I guess I do have a little bit of that vibe going. Oh, we're going to get going on this thing in just a minute. I don't even know if I want to play a song particularly. I just want to pluck away. That's kind of like my favorite thing to do. To sit here and sway. Four chord songs are nice to play. chat room here just so everyone sees tell me who plays Phantos <clears throat> yes and the first one to tell me who plays Phantos wins a special prize instead for Thantos. Oh, heck. Oh, gosh. Excuse my language. You know what? I'm just going to do it like this. So, a few years ago, there was a game uh, called Champions of the Galaxy. And they had a character whom they called Phantos. I know, it's a little silly, because it seems very close to Thanos, but it's not. Oh, it's Thantos. And we're going to show you just how silly it is. Hey! Thantos! No, no, uh, Andre, you are right, so you kind of won, but I'm talking about a different Thantos. I promise it's going to be worth it. Let's see. Oh, it's, yes. Okay. <laughs> There's Thantos. <laughs> this was drawn by the talented Werner, uh, Werner Miek, and, and Werner has been doing art for a long time. <laughs> now, I don't know if you've ever seen Thantos in action, um, but uh, 
Yes, this is, this is, if you can tell me who that wrestler is, uh, the first one. <laughs> I just think it's great that he's called Thantos. Oh, why can't I find this photo? Oh, I'll see, I'll, well, next time. Okay, so in case anyone is curious, um, this is, let me see, hold on, I have to. Champions of the Galaxy. Oh, this page could not be found. <gasps> they deleted it. Oh, I can't believe that. There's got to be photos somewhere. This is an event. Oh, wait a minute now. Oh, this is just brilliant. Can anyone identify who that is? No one, really? All right, we're going to spoil it then. Sometimes I get carried away with silliness, but I think this is, this is pretty silly right here. Oh, come on, get out of there, Thantos. I don't want you here. Ha! And Andre, you got it! Add a new source. Hooray for Andre! So a few years ago, uh, Phil Singer Games got a live event together, um, and they had a ca the characters that they had created. And these characters were all original: Star Warrior, Thantos, Wolf, um, etc. They weren't inspired by anyone else, of course. And my friends, uh, Orange Cassidy, Chuck Taylor, and Alex Reynolds, all portrayed these characters at a, at a live event. I mean, it was really a lot of fun. Loud and Noxious was the um, commentator there. And uh, it ended up being a good time. I just think Phantos is really funny. Boy, I got carried away there. When I was younger, they used to say, Jervy, you've got attention deficit disorder. I'd say, what? What is that? And they said, well, that's where you can't pay attention to one thing for too long. And I said to them, well, I could sit here and I could watch wrestling for six hours straight, uninterrupted. Yes, but you don't pay attention to teacher, the front of the room, when she's talking about arithmetic. I think there are better ways to learn math. I learned vocabulary from Jim Ross. Anybody else? I mean, Jim Ross was like a walking thesaurus. So many SAT words. I love Jim Ross. He taught me so much. What, why, why do I look all goofy? Why do I sit? I gotta sit this way. Mm -hmm. Baby Orange and Baby Chuck. That's exactly right. They were young, young fellows back then you know next time uh, perhaps we'll get the champions of the galaxy matchup and, and we'll show that i'm gonna go ahead and dig for that one and see if i can find it now this is a baritone ukulele ukulele so everything is tuned uh, down five steps so this is not an f this one here that's a c you hear that um a G is actually a D, and the D is an A. So the chords are a bit different, but if you take a, a capo and you put it here on the fifth fret, the first one that has a dot on it, now it's just a regular ukulele. There's your C, there's your G, your A minor, and your F. And you know what this gives us? It's all right to tell me what you think about me. I won't try to argue or hold this against you. You know that even you must have your reasons. The season is calling. Happened 
that was a little bit of Blink-182 for your Saturday morning. Now, uh, I'm going to put my deep, bassy ukulele away for a bit, and we're going to talk about toys. My favorite thing, for real. Everything is my favorite thing. Does anyone else feel like that sometimes? Oh, by the way, this is, um, this is Prince Alfred's cat, cat uh, cave. I put it up here on the stool, on the, on the bench, so that he has somewhere to relax away from Lord Booplesnoot. Lord Booplesnoot, where are you? <whistles> Hold on a minute, let me just... came close enough and then he just laid down. I guess he doesn't want to be on camera. So, well, the first thing we're going to talk about is a submission. Now, hold on. Let me pull up the message here. We had a gift. Well, not a gift. We had someone help us find. There it is. At Merendino. On Twitter, sent us the elusive Raphael and Casey Jones set. Now, these uh, these chaps, they had a fight. I think it was in Central Park. It was back in the nineties. Really nasty fight. And um, and the two of them, uh, well, they headed out. And Casey Jones smacked Raphael with a cricky. Uh, and he said, you got to know what a cricket is. No, wait a minute. That's not how he said it. Raphael said, you got to know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. And Casey Jones goes, I'll teach you what smack. You know, anyone who disrespects cricket, you can get out of here. Don't disrespect cricket. Cricket's a very lovely game. I urge you to go to a match. Now, this set was a Walmart exclusive set. And uh, that's something that uh, NECA has tried before. It's made by NECA Toys. For anyone curious, where's their little... There they are. It's made by NECA Toys. Um, and, you know, they even really capture the cover of the old movie. Um, they, they, The Family Home Entertainment logo, they've kind of you know, done their own version of it here. I think that's really clever. Uh, if anyone who's a fan of the original movies, uh, you, you can, this is something to take home and to hold and to love. This was really hard to find because it's a Walmart exclusive and they were only shipping two to each store. Now, I don't think that's many. It's not very many at all, really. And I'd probably visit it. I'm afraid, I'm actually a, a bit of a, I'm not ashamed, but it's, it's a high number. I've probably visited at least 50 Walmarts trying to find this. Not 50 different ones, but you know, there's probably about, uh, I'd say 12 uh, south of Ventura County down to about San Diego. And I just zipped around trying to find it. Uh, eventually I started, you know, very early, still couldn't find it. And part of the excitement of toy hunting is in the treasure hunt. But at a lot of the stores I went to, the Walmarts, they said people would come and they knew when these were coming out on the cart that they were pushing to the aisles. And they would take them right off the cart and take two of them and leave. And then I saw them on offer up. And do you know what this is called? Scalping. I didn't know this was a, there was a thing called scalping. But, um... It's something that is detrimental to the toy community. I saw a, sh a scalper making off with um, another Ninja Turtle set that's highly sought after that we're going to talk about in just a minute. I gave him the old what for. I gave him a talking to. I said, you're really going to buy three of those, mate? There's a one per customer rule. And he said, why are you wearing a full face mask? Get out of my way. I said, hey, this is who I am, man. Guy. And he was like, oh, well, don't give me that stuff, man. It's the luck of the draw. And I was like, there was 
was no draw. You got here and you picked up three of them and you put them in a cart and you stood around. And now you're texting your buddies to come pick them up. All right. All right. But who cares? Because we came up with it anyway. Razzmatazz! Yes, that's right. This is the musical mutagen tour set. Um, it's a box set that was released by NECA, and it was supposed to be a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Unfortunately, because Comic-Con was virtual this year, um, we weren't able to go to San Diego to pick it up, so we had to find it at Target. Do you believe that? A Target exclusive. Now, there's a difference between Walmart exclusives and Target exclusives, and the difference is Target exclusives are a bit easier to find. Let's take this out. Woo. Hey, look at that! What was that sound? What happened? Something happened. I just heard something. What? Did anyone else hear that? It was a cha-ching type sound. What, what was that? The coming out of their shells tour. Yes, so we need to discuss that for a moment before we go, we dive in. In the early 90s, when the Ninja Turtles were sweeping the nation, uh, the world, they had a musical tour. You know, it's kind of like when you see Disney on Ice, that sort of thing. It's a, it's a stage performance um, that brings the characters to life. Uh, for example, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers had Mighty Morphin Power Rangers live. Um, there were a lot of... Con that, that concept was often repeated. But rather than fighting on stage, the Ninja Turtles played music. Which I think is great. And I always wondered if they needed an ukulele player. I, I think that would have been really nice. Uh, but they filmed a rockumentary, and it was called Coming Out of the Shells. So they've got a cardboard cutout here in case you want to look like Raphael. Uh, they've got even a, a song list. So we'll, we'll go through that. We built this technodrome. Sai Onara. The green, green slime of home. I don't know what that one's a parody of. Sex in the sewer. Oh, look at that. We said sex on the beach earlier. This is achy breaky shell. Billy Ray Cyrus. Mutagen Melanies. M Mel Melodies, not M Melanie like. Valley. Yellow party wagon. Foot la ooze. Oh. Oof. Super shredding. What are these? Are these even for? Pizza all the time. <laughs> I like that. She wants the pizza all the time. Pizza all the time. Pizza all the time. He eats the pizza all the time. Pizza all the time. Pizza all the time. Who let the utrons out? Who? 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 Smells like teen mutants. That's a good one. I like that. Be bop a loser. Sewer time blues. That's quite a song list. Um, Big Seth is uh, pointing out a, a great... And, and Andre's right. None of those were on the album. I think there was some kind of rights dispute that they couldn't use coming out of the shells and they couldn't use the, the original titles, so they had to make up their own. <clears throat> now Seth is giving tips in the chat room how to search Funkos there's also a website called Pop Finder and uh, Pop Finder will allow you to find out where Funko Pops are dropping and when I'm not a Funko collector but um, I do respect the hustle because recently a Doctor Strange Funko came out that I wanted and um, it was a it was like a black light Doctor Strange. I'm a big Doctor Strange collector. It was a black light Doctor Strange, and I just I never saw it once at Target, but I did see it for forty dollars at Frank and Sons. Um, oh boo! Oh, an import course, and then the fear of dings and bumps. I don't worry about dings and bumps myself. Um, so lads, I'm gonna uh, try to push. I think subscriptions, or is it bits? 
Can anyone tell me how that works? I was told that uh, in order to, to have a more effective stream, that I could solicit bits, or is it donations? I don't know. It's, you know, sort of like this. Hey, look at that. Yeah, come on. I'm sitting on the corner here in Santa Monica. I wish I could be doing that, to be honest. I, I'd love to be out on the corner in Santa Monica streaming, streaming live from there. Um, that would be really, really nice. Uh, but, you know, we, here we are. Okay, let's dig in. Zip this off here. I'm not ready to unbox the Raphael and Casey Jones set because I don't know if I'm going to find that one. You know, I like to keep a boxed version and an unboxed version. Um, but I, I don't know if I don't know if I'm going to find that one. Now I think this is great because it looks like a roadie set. This is what the road dog Jesse James used to carry for Jeff Jarrett. Oh, subscriptions is a recurring monthly thing that gives your subscribers access to emotes sub mode. Bits are one-time donations. Oh, well, I guess we're going to have to make some emotes. Emotes, emotes, emotes. Leave me some, some comments. What kind of emotes do you want? There it is. There's the chat room. Hi, chat room. Yes. Uh, leave me some comments. We'll figure out emotes. Maybe one of Lord Snoot would be a good be a good place. Or, or Prince Alfred. I didn't want to, to tear. Oh. Huzzah! Rasmatez! Hey, wait a minute! What? Oh, there's two missing! Where did they go? Look at that, it looks just like a spade. Why are they not four? Oh. Wait a minute, you know what? I thought that last night I heard faint. Uh, hair metal coming from the living room. And Lord Booper Snow letting out several yelpies of appreciation and joy. Lord Booper Snow must have unboxed these already. Oh, look at that. This is Michelangelo complete with his saxophone. Look at that. Oh, man. Go ahead, Mikey, wail on the, on the sax. Now, um, these NECA figures, traditionally, they're very difficult to pose when they come right out of the box. A lot of uh, more seasoned, experienced collectors would tell you to use a hairdryer uh, to, to, to... Oh, V. Revoltagon donated some bits! Sweet, sweet bits for a sweet man! V. Revoltagon! You are so wonderful. Thank you. Oh, how lovely. Gosh. Oh, okay, well, now I know what bits are. Ten bits, you say. Ten bits. What does that mean? I, now I have, I am ten bits richer. I kind of like that, bits. But again, it can be used as a derogatory slang. Not derogatory, more, more crude. Ugh. Now here's Donatello. And he comes with uh, two electronical, uh, in electronic instruments. One of them is this uh, sort of like a synth board. You know, that's one where you can, you can play it and just go. Ten bits equals ten cents. Wow, a dime! Oh, things can turn around on a dime. Look at that. <gasps> Moggity Mog just just became number one. Wow. I think, is that what that means? Now he's number one. What is that? Moggity Mog, you're first. Can I, can I put, can we put a first place marker here? Is that, let me see. We're going to go through Streamlabs. I appreciate you all joining us today. Oh, bit go. Well, I think we can put one of those on the screen here. Let's see. What is a reasonable bit goal to set, chat room? 
Jervis Poggies. What are Jervis Poggies? Oh, 51 bits. All right, well, let's try to make 1,000 bits. And we'll, the starting amount is, let's just call it 61. Okay, first time bit goal. Done. All right. Ah, Donatello's instrument. I think um, the thing about these Ninja Turtles that was always a bit unsettling to me was was their teeth. Oh, look at that. You can open his mouth. Their teeth were a little too prominent. Um, I'm going to compare them and you'll see what I mean. Now, the models that were created by Jim Henson's uh, monster shop, was it? Um, which, that's what these were. These are also by NECA. They were released in 2018. And you see the difference here when you don't see the turtle's teeth? I think it, it, the turtle's with teeth, you know, it's like a frog with teeth. But now see, Michelangelo has teeth, but they're very, very subtle and understated. Then, you know, you're like, oh, that's, that's probably how they should look. Then you look at him. I'm gonna eat you! I'll eat you! Ah, Pac-Man! Okay. Back in the concert hall you go. <laughs> look, at, look, they look like they're going. The toothy horror, says V. Revoltacon. I don't know what this donation thing is. It's not really, it doesn't seem to have anything bit go. Ah! My sample bit go ends in 20, 201 years. <laughs> I guess, it's my first time here. I don't really know what I'm doing. Remove that. Remove bit go. All right. Well, I guess in 201 years. We'll see if um, if the bit goal is achieved. Jervis is a Greg guy. Greg like like Trent. Wow! I've got three hundred and sixty-one bits now. That's a lot of bits. That's three. That's three dollars and fifty-one cents. Oh my gosh! I'm going to be able to go out and buy buy a kombucha today. Did everyone know that it's Eric Watts's birthday? Let's all go wish him a happy birthday. I'm going to go to Twitter right now. I'm going to say, happy birthday, Eric Watts. Well, happy, yesterday was his birthday. Happy belated birthday, Eric Watts. You know, I, I usually everyone's like, oh, let me post a photo of me and his person. I, it, it's too much. It's, 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 you have to dig way too deep for that. Morgety Mog has no clue how this works. Neither do I, Morgety, but you're making all those little pyramids appear, and I think those pyramids are pennies. Let me just... Ah, come on, give me the pyramids. Put them in there. Then I sound like some kind of Illuminati beggar. Give me the pyramids. Come on, put the all-seeing eye right in here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, my. Go ahead. Come on, man. Oh, Abacus. Oh, Caduceus. Ha. <sighs> Yes, so I'm going to go to the beach today. Going to have a real fun time at the beach. Is anyone else going to the beach? What if we, should, we should make a phone call. What do you think about that? I think we should make a phone call to someone. Who should we call? What do you think would, would, be, would be excited to hear from me? Let's see here. We're going to make a phone call to someone. Mark Andrews. Oh, well, he's such a lovely man. I don't want to scare him or anything. Let's see. Hmm. Wes Briscoe. Oh, he's a dear friend. I remember we performed together years ago. Colt Cabana. Should we call Colt Cabana? Oh, that could be scary. Isn't he in the Dark Order now? Is anybody? What's going on with Colt? Is he in the Dark Order? 
She just, and I've always been hanging out with those lads. I don't really like it. I don't like to hear that. Let's see. Dan Yost. Do you know who Dan Yost is? Dr. Dan Yost. You know what? We're going to give him a ring. We're going to call him right now. Uh, oh, hi, hi. Dan Yost. He's a doctor now. And if not, we're going to leave him a message. Kelby, Kelby, hi Kelby. Dr. Yost is delightful. We're going to leave him a nice message. Hi, you reached Daniel Yost. Ooh. I'm not available right now, but if you leave your name and phone number, I'll get right back to you. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hello, Dr. Yost. This is the world's sweetest man, Gentleman Jervis. I just wanted to call. Well, I'm live on the air, and I was telling everyone how much I love you. And I wanted to call to say I miss you and that we'd like you to be a guest someday. So if you call me back, I'm just I'm not even going to answer. I'm not going to give you the courtesy of, of a warning. I'm just going just gonna to answer. just going to pick it up. So don't say anything crazy. All right, I love you. Mwah. Well, that was the voice message. Big Seth has made a very, very rough draft of my first emoti. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> oh no! Ah! That, what is that? Oh gosh! Oh, they're, oh. <laughs> oh. they've got to bring this one to the chat. Emoti Jervis, oh dear Seth. That's how I'm saving it. It's a little scary. Sorry, Seth, I know you worked hard on that. I don't want to take away your... I don't want to take away your inspiration. First emoti. It just made me laugh. Let's see. Emoti Jervis. This was... This was sent to me by Seth. What is that? What's this all about? <laughs> no! Some more bits coming in from Moggity Mog. A beautiful poggy. Oh, a stone cold jervy emoji. Could be a good one. Has anyone ever heard my stone cold Steve Austin impersonation? Oh, Dan Yost. Sorry, bud. I'm in a study session. Oh, of course. It's Saturday morning. What else would he be doing? Love you too. Good luck streaming. <laughs> Yay for Dan Yost. Get this out of here. We've got 25 viewers in the chat room. You're all very lovely. And thanks for joining my first stream. You know, I think next time we're going to get 30 viewers the whole time. I think we started off with something like 40. So that was really nice. And then, you know, these things go on and on. And, you know, that's just what happens. So we've got 58 more bits sent in by Moggity Mog. Uh, Bits for dreamies for his lordship. Oh, okay. All right, wait. If we can get, like, a few more bits, I'm going to go pick up Mr. Mr. Booper Snooden. I'm going to wake him from his slumber. All right, then. Here we go. The match you had with Ziggy Dice. Oh, you saw that. 
Should we put it on? Should we put it here? But, you know, let's do that. Let's do that. I think that would be a lovely idea. Let's see. We're going to Zicky Dice and Gentleman Jervis interview. Zicky Dice and Gentleman Jervis feature match. There we go. Yeah, we're going to download this one. Then I'm going to stream it. Uh, part of the benefit of working for Championship Wrestling from Hollywood is that uh, Mr. Marquez, um, who is the owner of the company, he allows us to use the footage uh, as we need, uh, you know, to promote ourselves for our reels, um, if, if we want to show it live here, um, which I think these days, you know, because the cost of production is so high, the show looks so very good, um, I think it's a really admirable thing to do, and I'm, I'm very happy that he does that. Update your Flash player? What? No! Not updating my Flash player. Flash isn't around anymore. The Macromedia was purchased by Adobe and then Adobe phased it out. One of the greatest blunders in all of multimedia history, but it's neither here nor there. I'm not downloading Flash. Get away from get away from me, Bonsai Buddy, and your software and your malware. Malware guy. Get out of here. I saw the post-match assault. Oh. Good morning, Chainsaw Cholo. KLB Klein says Jervis is all elite. Not yet, but someday I will be, I promise. Someday I'm going to get a contract for AEW. And everyone's going to say... Well, first, they're probably going to criticize me a whole lot. Jim Cornette, he already blocked me, so he's not going to like it. There's going to be lots of people who are, who are naysayers about it, but you know what? They're not going to stop me. They're not going to make me give up on my dream. If I let naysayers control my actions, I would have stopped a long time ago. A lot of people think this is weird what I do, but I don't. I believe in it. I believe in myself, too. I'm going to get my shot, and when I do, I'm going to prove why I belong. And even if I don't last and... Maybe even if I don't get my shot, it doesn't matter because I believe in my heart that there's a place for me on every wrestling show in the world. I think I do something very special and very specific, and I belong. And I'm proud to say that. I want you all out there to remember, be confident in the things that you're good at. Work hard to get good at those things. Work hard at the things you're passionate about. Then you'll get good at them, and then you can be confident in your passions. I was so passionate about professional wrestling that I had to do it myself. I had to at least learn how it was done. I urge you to do the same thing. Believe in yourself. While we're at it, and before we show this match, Let's talk about today's affirmation. Ding, 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 ding. Razzmatazz. Wow. I think sooner or later, we're going to make an alarm for that. Big sirens, red flashes. I want you to say this aloud, for not once, not twice, but thrice. I deserve love. I deserve love. I deserve love. A lot of people think it's silly to say something so simple. But you'd be surprised at how many of us don't feel that this is true. That we don't deserve true, good love. Honest. Honest love. But we do deserve it. Everyone deserves it. No matter what you've done and no matter where you've been, no matter what your shortcomings are, you deserve love. I don't mean to get too deep into the spiritual part of it, but I think that love is something that bonds us all. It's something that we all share. Everyone can love. But they need to be loved. Have you ever heard it said that you don't hate only the unloved hate. 
the unloved and the unnatural. How do we rid the world of hate? With love. So, again, I deserve love. I deserve love. I deserve love. I hope you said that along with me. And even if you didn't, say it later. Oh, and there's one more trick. You can say it sarcastically. I deserve love. Your brain doesn't understand the difference. You know, sarcasm isn't really a, a thing that's built into the evolutionary uh, properties of the human body. So trick yourself. Oh, I deserve love. I deserve love. Woo, boobity boo. Yeah. Jake Hudson says, I got something to say. I've been dealing with lots of stuff in my life. I was a caregiver to my dad who had heart problems, who was diabetic who was on oxygen and other stuff. Deal with my own anxiety and some other stuff, but watching Twitch makes me happy. Thanks for making me so happy. Jake Hudson, thank you for joining us and sharing and being so vulnerable. It's really special that you're here and I can't imagine how difficult it must be to take care of your father who clearly needed you very much. Even though it's difficult, you did what you had to do, and that makes you a really great son. I'm proud of you, and I'm glad that you're here with us on a Saturday morning. We're just having the most lovely time. And um, now, without further ado, we are going to save this file, and we're going to open it up. Where'd it go? Oh, Firefox prevented a pop-up. No, show me the pop-up. Ah! Come on, I don't want that! Get out of here, Flash Player! Be gone, Flash Player! Did I not tell you already? Morgan and Morg says, I need this daily on prescription. Well, you are very lucky because we are going to be doing this every single day. Uh, we're going to figure out how to make it different, how to make it fun. But I want you all to feel like you can um, give me suggestions, you know, and, and that we can, we can enjoy this together. Because again, like I said earlier, this is for you and that's not a gimmick. Um, I want to make a show, I want to make a channel really uh, that... that serves us all. You know, an escape, a safe place, uh, somewhere to go when maybe you're getting yelled at at work, you're getting bullied at school, something's happening that you really can't control, but you need to control yourself and your own actions. So you can come on in here to this stream. Those of you who don't know, Hello. I'm Nico Marquez. Hello. I am head Hello. matchmaker here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Right. Are we and let me there? tell you, I have carte blanche. I do as I please. No one here has the responsibilities that I have. And let me tell you, I have in my hand the greatest acquisition that oh, Championship Wrestling tears. from Hollywood Next has six. seen. Oh, Ten years, the greatest well, contract I have ever so, uh, signed. For those of you who don't know, actually, let me turn Ladies and gentlemen, I had to uh, I want to check in the chat room. How's the volume here? Can you hear me Ladies speaking all right over the top of the commentary? In professional wrestling, Morgan, you know, I've been deleted at work several times. Um, it hurt really ba badly the first time, and then it, it got easier every time. And these days, you know, I don't let anyone delete me. Look at Zitcher Dice. Zickalus Dice. Zyko Dice. Andre, can you hear me uh, over well, you know the over the, the show tracks, enough? It seems like Nico Marquez hit the deal. That's what it looks like to me. Let's. I would love to see Ziggy Dice back inside the Championship Wrestling Hollywood ring. What do you? This is all a good volume for professional this. wrestling. Oh, all right then. Let me tell you, this is the hottest name in professional wrestling today. Hello, hello, doll, though nine. So, Ziggy. 
Welcome back. I could be a bit louder. Wrestling. All right, then. Let me try moving the microphone. What an unpredictable matchup we have coming our way here. Gentlemen, Jervis and Zicky Dice. Are you kidding me? I'll tell you what, TK, I'm, I'm still floored. The, the return of Zicky Dice signing the, the most lucrative contract in the history of championship wrestling from Hollywood, according to... And look at that! Dice. I want you to take note of something. Signing. I don't know the details. I don't know the I'm scared to go down the ramp. But I do know that Gentleman Jervis weighs 3,000 butterflies. Uh, gentleman Jervis had, had mentioned to me in the past Let's recently see. again that he believed Caveman Baggins says it's hard to try and smile these days, Jervis. Caveman, a you're not wrong. We can all relate. And Zicky Dice, who I guess has some momentum going with that big contract signing, but previous to that, tough You have to, to smile though your heart is aching. Listen up, Jervis! Listen up real close! Oh, I never like yes, when he's talking speak. to you! Don't get cute. This is Zicky Dice's time. Listen, it's not rainbows anymore. You see, your good days are over. Welcome to the end. <laughs> oh, Zicky, he's always laughing what? maniacally. This looks like a, a, you know, a, a more serious maniac indeed. <laughs> now watch, you have to open your fists when you have a match. Did you see that? Uh, it definitely seems that way. Oh, Andre Bennett says some he keeps getting knocked off. There's a little lock up. You see that little fancy wrist lock? Yeah, Drew Gulak taught me that. Talking about being a outlandish, he would do a magic trick or two, but I, I got a feeling that Dice has to ah, get him. Oh, there you see, see that Dickie didn't stand for that for even a second. Just a straight right hand. Absolutely, and that was right to Jervis's jaw too. I have booked pointy fingers on the nose. Yes. I'll tell you what, the fans here at the Ocean View Pavilion, uh, they don't, they don't Ooh, seem to like... Watch that. your arms, Ziggy watch your pits! Ziggy Dice just not playing into the antics, though. And that throws a hat as well. A lot of people get suckered into the mind games of Gentleman Jervis. It's water off a of duck's back so far. No, look Dice. at my muscles, girl! I don't know if Jervis Ziggy is said, to do this. Oh, come on he's now, Mr. Jersey Boy. I'm a football a player of past, past me. Kinds of See, I was trying to trick him, though. I never really wanted a test of strength. I was just trying to frustrate him. Who taught me the tickle? You know, I had to learn the tickle as, as a protective measure. Oh, gosh! You, oh, what a cheap shot! Caveman Baggins! You do deserve help, mate. You deserve help and you deserve love. No, I need you... Oh, gosh, a clothesline. Caveman Baggins, I need you to stop right now. Stop everything you're doing. We're gonna... I can't pause this. But I need you to stop everything you're doing. I need you to say out loud. I deserve love. He is all business. Gold is the other side of the pillow. Thus I far. deserve it's wellness. This is an aggressive Zicky Dice. He's not Come on now, repeat punches. after me. I deserve help. Jervis trying to play got your nose and Zicky Dice almost sent Jervis. Where's the tears? There's a football tackle. An American football tackle. Ah, look at this. I'm edge. I'm edge. I want another football tackle. Bang. Here's an elbow for you. And another elbow right to your chesticle. Come on, hip toss! Ah, judo! Get away from the ropes! I don't want your feet going under the ropes. Ah, I'm gonna stomp you now! I'm gonna give you an old stomp! A flying bunny is what I call this one. Oh! 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 Oh, I'll never forget how that felt. I landed right on my, right on my leg. And you know, if you don't do enough um, injury prevention exercises in the gym, usually you can do those with elastic bands. If you don't do enough of those, you're going to hurt yourself. Oh, oh, can we get some bits to pay respects to the to the broken left leg that I'm suffering from? Look at Ziki just... Oh, no, oh, let's dice. smash the bits. Just, just let me have it with the bits, if, if, if we can. I don't, I don't, I really still don't know how that works. Oh, he bit, he bit me. Oh, he's biting. Sitchin is biting. Rick Nielsen, our latest subscriber. What is he, a follower? I don't, I think he's a subscriber. No! Oh. Kid Isaac, I was begging Kid Isaac to help me. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't, 
He was like, well, Jervis, I'm, I forget how to help you. I know, I think I'm supposed to get on the apron and, and help you, but I, I forget how, he said. Did we talk about this before the match? Did we talk about, like, like you know, if you get in trouble, I can get up on the apron and distract Zicky? Man, I really forget, so I'm just going to stand down here while you yell at me. This is an entirely different Zicky Dyson, guys. <laughs> it was Kid Isaac. You see me reaching for him. I'm like, hey, Kid Isaac, do you remember... Do you remember what we talked about? Do you remember? He's like, no, I don't. And I'm like, hey, all right, I guess we're just gonna, I guess we're just gonna give up on that one. Look at me, come on, Isaac! Isaac! <laughs> He's down there saying, what, am I supposed to have some sort of good memory? Oh, moggity mog, he's smashing the bits again. Throw me those pennies. Throw me pennies like I'm a wishing fountain. Right now, the ring is one big Look at Ziggy just beating the, the snot out of me. Whipping me around. Courtesy. Now look at no! again. Oh. Shockwaves all through that knee. I just wanted it to end. Ziggy look at him, he's proud of what he's doing. This is a total bludgeon. Now going for the cover. Is that gonna do it? And Jervis kicks out, maybe prolonging the inevitable here. Questionable call there. You gotta wonder, should, yeah, should the referee just stop this thing, TK? It, would that be the more responsible decision? Well, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw that to our broadcast colleague here. You know, it's all about being able to intelligently defend yourself. In your estimation, Blake, can Jervis do that at this point? It's hard to tell. I haven't seen him get back up on his feet since, since pretty oh. much he came down. Well, it's a moot point here as Jervis has to tap. Here is your winner, Ziggy <sighs> Dice. Oh. Boo! Boo this outlandish man! I think that was a very smart move. Sometimes you gotta lose a battle to win the war. Huffery and puffery. What's going on here? There is no call for this. You got the win. Get out of there. This is one of the most beloved things. He ricocheted my leg right off of the the, the stairs. Oh! What do you got to prove, Zicky? What do you got to prove? Thank you, Moggity Mog. Thank you for your bit. Oh my gosh, did you see that? All of the hyper extending the knee there, Blake. He's here to send a message to Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. This guy is no gentleman at all. And look, look further at what he was trying to do. Trying to rip my head clean off. Trying to behead Gentleman Jervis here. Somebody's got to stop this, TK. We got to get somebody out here. This is totally uncalled for. Chainsaw Cholo, I did too. Cut these cameras. Let's go to break. They no, let me go. Let me go. Oh. Oh, what a beating. What a beating. <sighs> you know, to Caveman Baggins' point. He said, sometimes I feel like I don't deserve help. You know, I get beat up a whole lot in the ring. And a lot of times I feel like I don't deserve help either. But when I watch something like that and I hear myself screaming in pain, I think I've got to help myself. No one can do it for you. No one, no one can truly lift you up like you. So I am going to help myself. You know how? I'm going to take my vitamins. I'm going to say my prayers. I'm going to eat my green vegetables. I'm going to work out. I'm going to work out harder. I don't like, I don't like the physical fitness. This is all wrong. This is, not, this is not up to the standards that I like to have set for myself. Someday we'll have a rematch and I'll show him that I've improved. My friends, it's been a lovely time. We're going to call it a day. I love you all very much. Thank you for joining here in the chat room. You guys are just the best. We're going to be back tomorrow streaming again. And I'll give everyone a 30 minute heads up. Oh, Butcher's Monocle, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. I love you all, my friends. Do have a lovely day.